Hey guys, it's Lilypad. Welcome back to another baking video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make soft pretzels. You know, the ones you get at the vendor by the park. And so, the things you're going to need are three and a quarter cups of flour, a third of a cup of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of sugar, two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast, three tablespoons of oil, and, and a cup of warm water. You, the things, the tools you're gonna need are a kitchen towel, a tape measure. You can also use a ruler, but I like to use a tape measure because I can sort of bend it a little bit. You're gonna need two baking sheets, a, a bench scraper, and if you don't have a bench scraper, you can also just use a knife, but I prefer to use a bench scraper. You need parchment paper and a stand mixer fitted with a dough hook attachment. In the bowl of your stand mixer, you want to pour in your cup of warm water, your sugar, and then you want to sprinkle over your yeast and let that stand for 5 to 10 minutes so that it can activate the yeast. After you've activated your yeast, you want to pour in your flour, your oil, and your salt. Then you want to take your dough hook and attach it to your mixer. And then you're going to knead this on medium-low until it forms a dough. Then you're just going to take your kitchen towel and cover your dough and let it rise for about an hour in a relatively warm environment. So after your dough has risen, uh, you can just let it set aside for a couple minutes while we prepare our pans, our baking sheets, so that we can bake our pretzels. So here I have some parchment paper and I have my baking sheet and I have another one over here. You're going to need two baking sheets and I have a bowl with a little bit of olive oil in it and I also have a brush. So what you have to do is just set your brush and your oil aside and then you're going to take your parchment paper and you just want to line both of your pans with your parchment paper. So I have this one lined and this that side. And then my other one. So then after you line your sheets with parchment paper, you can set aside your parchment paper and then you just want to take your brush and your oil and just brush a bit of oil onto the parchment paper. You don't have to do a lot. And then I'm going to take my other one and just brush some more. Sorry for the noise. And so now we can get to working on our pretzels. So now that I have prepared my pans, now it's time to uh, take my dough and make them into pretzels. So here I have my dough, I have my bench scraper, my tape measure, and a bowl with a little bit of flour just so I can dust the surface so that the dough doesn't stick because this is a pretty wet dough. So I'm gonna uncover my dough and you can see that in, the, in there that the dough has risen a lot. So that's what you want. You want it to be like almost double in size. So I'm gonna just set my tools aside for a minute, take a little bit of flour, and just dust it on my surface so that the dough doesn't stick. Then I'm gonna take my dough, it's really nice and soft and relaxed, and uh, I'm just going to get a dough scraper and just take all of my dough out of my bowl so that I don't waste anything. And then here on the dough you want to take your um, bench scraper and you just want to cut the dough into 12 parts. So here I'm going to cut it into fourths and I'm going to cut these fourths 
into three parts, so. So now you just want to take each of those 12 dough pieces you cut and roll them slowly, gradually, just pulling on them a little bit and they'll get longer. And you want to roll them to about 18 inches long. Then I'm going to show you how to twist a pretzel. So you want to put your dough log horizontal and take the ends and bend it into a U shape or a horseshoe shape. Then you want to just make it as big as you can, take the ends, twist it over once, and then over again. Then you want to plump out the sides because that's how big your pretzel is going to be, and then fold them over. And then just start um, putting the dough in so that it stays together and just spreading out the holes. And then you want to put these on your baking sheet and do these to the rest of your pretzels. Now, in a big wide saucepan, you want to pour in seven cups of water and that third cup of baking soda, and then you want to bring this to a boil because now we're going to boil our pretzels so that they can plump up. Now you just want to slide in two of your pretzels at a time and boil them for 25 seconds on each side, and then when they're done, you can just slide them back onto the baking sheet. So now that I've boiled my pretzels, you can see they're all nice and puffy and this is what we want for a good uh, soft pretzel. So before we bake them, I have some salt and we're just going to sprinkle some salt on um, our pretzels and this will obviously make them nice and salty and so you just want to sprinkle these on all of your pretzels. And if you want, you can use coarser salt. This is just what I have. It's regular sea salt. So I'm just sprinkling these on my pretzels. And last one. So then on you want um you want to bake your pretzels at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes or until the outsides are nice and golden brown and um, you really want them to be nice and golden brown so that you can get a really nice pretzel. Thanks you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. These are our pretzels that we made. They're really nice and soft on the inside and they're really chewy and salty. They're the perfect pretzel. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Lilypad. I'll put a link to the written recipe on my blog post in the description. Bye guys.